Hi, my name is Sayed Vakal Samir. I will present a method for real image restoration and enhancement. During image acquisition, degradations are often introduced. It is either because of the physical limitations of cameras or and due to unsuitable lighting conditions. For instance, smartphone cameras have narrow aperture and small image sensor. As a consequence, they frequently generate noisy and low contrast images. Similarly, images captured under the unsuitable lighting conditions are either too dark or too bright. So image restoration is a process of recovering original image from its degraded version. For example, recovering a clean image from its noisy version or generating a high resolution image from a low resolution image. Image enhancement is a procedure of improving visual quality of images by making color and contrast adjustments. Convolutional neural networks have made significant advancement for image restoration and enhancement, as they can learn strong priors from large-scale datasets. Existing image restoration models typically operate either on high-resolution single-scale feature pipeline or use the encoder-decoder framework. The networks based on single-scale design do not use any downsampling operation and therefore generate images with spatially precise details. However, these networks are less effective in encoding contextual information due to their limited receptive field. Whereas the second approach provides semantically reliable but spatially less accurate outputs. We propose an architecture that exploits the best part of both worlds. Our network is based on recursive residual design that progressively breaks down the input signal in order to simplify the overall learning process and allows the construction of very deep networks. In the core of the network is the multi-scale residual block that contains several key elements. First, the main branch is dedicated to preserve the spatial resolution of features through the entire network. It allows us to retain precise spatial details. The green block represents the dual attention unit, which suppresses less useful features and only allows more informative ones to pass further. This feature recalibration is achieved by using channel attention and spatial attention mechanisms. Next, we add parallel convolution streams that process features at lower spatial resolutions. These course level convolution branches provide us with semantically rich features. A mechanism of information exchange is added across parallel streams in order to consolidate the high resolution features with the help of low resolution features. This feature consolidation is performed at each resolution level. In a nutshell, features at a given resolution level are harnessed with the help of features from the other resolution levels. In the blue block, feature aggregation is performed. Typical choices for feature aggregation are concatenation and summation. However, we propose to use selective kernel feature fusion that has roughly six times less parameters than concatenation operation, but yields better results. The selective kernel feature fusion module performs dynamic adjustment of receptive fields via two operations, fuse and select. The fuse operator generates global feature descriptors by combining the information from multi-resolution branches. The select operator uses these descriptors to recalibrate the feature maps of different streams followed by their aggregation. We perform experiments on real image datasets for different image processing tasks, including image denoising, super resolution, and image enhancement. For image denoising, we use Darmstadt noise dataset and the smartphone image denoising dataset. This table shows the results for the DND benchmark, where our method performs better than other competing approaches. Specifically, when compared to the previous test algorithm VDN, 
our method provides 0.5 dB PSNR gain. The trend is similar on the SIDD benchmark. Now I will show some visual results. In this challenging example, our method effectively removes noise while preserving the fine texture. Here is another example. Compare the text and homogeneous regions. Now let's look at the results for image super resolution. We perform evaluation on the real SR dataset. We compare our method with four state-of-the-art data-driven algorithms as well as bicubic interpolation, which is the most commonly used super resolution approach. Compared to the state-of-the-art, our method consistently yields significantly better image quality scores for all three scaling factors. Here is a visual example. The image produced by our method is more faithful to the high-resolution ground truth than other super-resolution algorithms. Finally, we evaluate our method for the task of image enhancement. We use the LOL dataset and MIT Adobe 5K dataset. On the LOL dataset, our method significantly outperforms the previous algorithms. Same is the case on Adobe 5K dataset. Here is an example for low light image enhancement. Our method reproduces images that is visually closer to the ground truth in terms of brightness and global contrast. And in this example, when compared to the state of the art, our method makes better color and contrast adjustments and generates image that is natural and pleasant in appearance. We have released the code and pre-trained models if you would like to use them. Thank you.